Hey guys, um, I'm going to be talking a little bit quietly. My <coughs> newborn is on my lap. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, he won't sleep if he's not on a person, so he is sleeping on one of us all the time. Um, but it's, it's really sweet and really cute, as you kind of got to see. Um, but today, hello, my name is Felicia, if you don't know me. Um, today I'm going to be going through some of my noonday samples for that I'm going to be doing for a big sale. Um, everything's largely discounted. Um, I don't know the actual percentages. And if you're in the US, it will include shipping um, for these prices. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to go a little bit quickly. Uh, if you have questions about any of the pieces, let me know and I can send you photos um, with better lighting and during the day and uh, the, all of that stuff. And I, um, more, yeah, if you have questions, let me know. The first four I'm going to go through are $25. And um, I really, so these ones are really fun. They're the Faye earrings. They are made from, um, they are lacquered, I believe bone it is from, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is spacing. Um, not Vietnam. Yeah, from Vietnam, sorry. These ones are, um, from a horn that has been dyed from Vietnam. Um, I really like them. I think they're gorgeous. The only thing is with my gauged ears, they don't really, they only work with one pair of um, gauges that I have and I don't wear them that often because I have to have that certain pair in. So that's the only reason. And um, I actually won them as a gift. I, I earned them for free. Um, but I, so I've wear them some, but again, they're kind of tricky because of just the way my ears are set up. The second pair I'm selling for the same reason. They're the same color, which is gorgeous. And um, again, these ones are a little bit heavier, and so they, the backing is big enough to go through my ear, and so um, they do come out of my ears because they are quite large. The holes are. So um, these are the chime earrings. They're from Haiti. I absolutely love that they, and I probably can't hear it, in, um, they make a little bit of sound. You can kind of hear it when they're up in your ear, but not very much, obviously. And they're also matte and not shiny, so it's a little, they're just a little interesting because of that. I think they're beautiful. I, I really do like them. They just don't really work with my gauged holes again. Um, the next pair do work with my ears. So if you have gauged ears or if you have a friend that does, these actually work really well with gauged or stretched ears. Um, they are the hued hoops and they are reversible. I do really like them still, um, but I really want new pieces. It's so fun to get new stuff. So um, I did decide that I would part with them um, and they'll, they'll no longer be being sold through noonday. So that's Part of how I chose them as well. Um, they're the food hoops from uh, Uganda and they were um, paper mache. And there's a di couple different colors on the stripes. So all $25 for these three, four. Next one are the union earrings. Again, I do like these ones a lot. Um, I don't wear them as often, um, but I do wear them quite a bit. They are, oh my gosh, enamel um, glazed and they are from um, I am so sorry, Myanmar, Burma, Thailand. They are from the border of Myanmar and Thailand, um, made by a refugee community. I do have another pair from them that I am keeping. And then um, if these sell, there's another pair that I'll probably get to replace these um, from the same company that's the same color. I, they're just new um, with the noonday season. And so I'm going to pass these ones on to someone who would love them. Um, and I do have an idea for someone that I would, might gift them to if they don't sell. Just so you know, there's someone out there that might end up with them um, who I think would really, really like them. Um, so those four are $25. They're from Vietnam, Uganda, uh, Haiti, and Thailand. Um, so those four countries represented. The next section are $20. Um, this is part of the Golden River Necklace. It's not on the website anymore. Um, it's from, I don't actually even know when it's from. It's quite old. Um, it's a heavy like sturdy necklace. I don't know much about it. Um, I can't tell you all of the details, but it's the Golden River and you can see the detail. There's some black and gold um, different beads. If you have questions, I can ask the other ambassadors what it's made out of, but this one, um, it's quite durable and like has the heavy weight to it, um, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, so this one is $20 because it is so um, not heavy duty, but just solid and sturdy. Uh, the next one, is the dainty paper bead bracelet. Um, I wear it sometimes. I don't wear it a ton. Um, I really, really, really like bracelet stacks. 
Um, I do wear this one sometimes. It's one that if it doesn't sell, I will, I, I'll keep it and still wear it. Um, but it is the Dainty Pixie Bead Bracelet from Uganda. These are all handmade paper beads. I do really like this one. Um, I've worn it in my hair up in a ponytail. Um, it's, it's just, it's a fun, it's a fun, easy, um, versatile piece. That's kind of, it's a statement, but it's also goes with so many different things. So it is a super fun one. Uh, I have photos of me wearing it uh, to a couple different events and things. And so let me know if you want more photos of any of these, not just this one. Um, the next one is from the Sublime Necklace Set. It's just one of the necklaces. Um, I do really like the Sublime Necklace Set, but I don't wear this one as often as the other one. And I, it actually really go really nicely with what I'm wearing today. Um, I have a couple of tops that it goes really well with. Any, if you have anything that is like a solid color with a white pattern on it, it works really, really well. It's a great layering piece. Um, there's little paper beads. It's from Uganda. There's little paper beads in between all the sections of three and there's like the three little shells at the bottom detail. I really do like this necklace and I know you guys will too. Um, I believe it's still on the website, but if you're just interested in this one, I am doing it for 20. I had to look at where it's at on my tray. Um, I'm doing this one for 20. So it's a super great deal um, for you guys. And then I will be using the money to invest in some new pieces for sales and to help promote um, the product elsewhere. So um, that is the part, one of the sublime necklaces from Uganda. Um, sorry, I'm rubbing baby. <laughs> uh, this one is, I'm going to do 15 next. This one's the beachcomber necklace. It is a seashell. Um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It does have a little bit of pinkish. Sometimes I, my understanding is that when certain metals, they can either turn green or pink. Um, and this one does have a little bit of that pink color um, just right on that edge just so you know. Um, yeah, so it is, has been gently worn. Um, this is the beachcomber necklace for $15 and it does have an adjust adjustable chain as well. Um, yeah, and this one actually goes really, really, really nicely with the one I just showed you. I, I, I've layered them, um, multiple times. And like I said, it, they, it's adjustable, so it can be a little bit longer as well. They're the same length right now, but it does go um, about two inches longer, so it'll hang right below there, which you can't tell right now. But uh, let me show you, actually. I'll make it the longest it'll go. And I've, as I said, I have worn these two together as well. So there's how they look if you hang them together. The Beachcomber is another great layering piece. Um, both of those can be worn on their own. I have a lot of pendant necklaces. I was realizing that, and so that's um, the only reason I'm doing the beachcomber, passing it on, is because I have a lot of pendant necklaces, and a lot of them have gold. And I, um, there's a couple that are selling out that are that I'm going to keep, but um, I had to pick. I picked between the ones that aren't um, going to be keep being sold for those ones. Um, the only ones that are continuing to be sold are the chime and the fay. I believe, yeah, the chime and the fay, and that's um, because they don't work with my ears, and so um, that's why <laughs> the melded earrings another pair that uh, are older I don't know how old um but I, I actually like these I didn't I didn't think I was going to like them I got them for free and I wore them I was like oh my gosh I love them um so I do wear them quite a bit I have other earrings that I reach for first before I go to these ones these ones are made in India I tell you the beachcomber I don't remember where the beachcomber was made if you want to know let me know and I'll, I'll find out it might be India too um but the melded earrings are from India. There's leather on the bottom, and then I believe, I'm not sure what type of metal it is on the top. Um, probably brass, because that's most of, of cycled metal, or like a fair trade metal. You can do fun photos. I actually did that with some of these. Um, but yeah, the melded earrings, $15. Uh, they are, I do really like them. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't wear them as often as other other gold ones. I have a Dokra earrings that I love, and then I have a couple other pairs that I just like, I love, 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 love. Um, and I like the more statement-y ones. Um, these ones are a little, they're, um, they go with everything, which is great, but they're not as statement-y as I like, I guess. I think the ones I go to, like I have a long spiky pair that are no longer with Noonday. They've sold out the Sabre earrings from a while back um, that are just like long spikes and they're super fun. Um, these ones are kind of more of a traditional or um, very much an everyday earring, which is great. Um, but yeah, if I, my everyday ones are like this. If I want to put something else on, it's usually something more, um, a little bit more statement-y. So, uh, the next two things, 
on the earth tone hair clips i believe is the name it's a set of three um these are one of the ones that uh, ambassadors when you like either i don't even know what i got them for but if it's you certain if you do certain things sell certain things um you can get some pieces for that and that's what these ones were i think it was from a 500 hundred dollar sale uh, ambassador hosted show i believe um and i like them that had, dreadlocks and black hair just aren't super great for clips um, and I don't really do clips because they'd hold like three dreadlocks. Um, so yeah, I don't really wear them often. I I have worn them, which I've not worn barrettes in ever since I was a little, <laughs> little child. Um, so I do like them. They're fun. I believe they're from Vietnam and probably horn. I'm not sure. They may be bone. I don't know. If you have questions, I will find out for you guys though. Um, these ones are $10 for the set. And this is uh one of the two necklaces that comes with the talisman set it just sold out i it's one of my favorite sets um but i did replace this with the ember necklace set um and so i'm i'm keeping the other necklace from the set but i am willing to part with the turtle um for did i say ten dollars that's it yeah i put it with my ten dollar ones so um that's a steal <laughs> i i would probably change that if I do it again next time. But for now, it's $10. That's what I said. That's where it's at. So um, there you go. There's two more that are um, two of my favorites. But with having a newborn, um, I kind of expect that I won't be wearing much that goes down very far because after he's a newborn, he'll be a toddler. We've fostered toddlers before, and I know that they like to grab any and everything. So the next two, um, I'm getting rid of them because I don't think I'll wear them for a few years. And I figure I might as well replace them with new season pieces from this coming season if they sell. Um, so yeah, that's, it's a little sad, but I am saying goodbye to, these are two of my first noonday pieces from my first show um, that I had before as an ambassador, but it's the Onyx Lariat necklace from Uganda. Um, and it's all paper beads. Uh, I believe I said um, 45 for this one and then 40 for the next one. So I think, I believe that's what I said, 45. Um, but these are all handmade black paper beads and then there's gold seed beads in between. Um, it's a long lariat. I do have a video on how ways to wear it. I really like this one. Um, I just, I don't wanna store something for probably two years that I don't think I'll wear um, for a while just because it, it won't be super practical for um, my everyday life. And I have lots of um, statementy ones and fancy ones for different events and stuff too. So it really, it just is where I'm at in life right now. I don't think I'll wear it as much, but I, I love this piece and I like, it's so detailed. There's so much detail in it. And it's amazing to me that every single of the black beads is a handmade paper individual bead. Like they're hand rolled crazy. Um, the next one, the last one is the papyrus necklace and I put it in a pile so it might be a little tangled. Um, Perfect. Okay, good. Uh, this is the papyrus necklace. It's one that I wore, I've worn quite a lot too. Again, it's one of the first ones from my first party that I had as a hostess. And um, yes, yeah, the papyrus necklace. Again, these are paper beads hand rolled from Uganda. Um, it's a three layer one, so you don't even have to uh, mess with picking out layers. I really do like it. It's super versatile. It goes with, um, actually, most noonday pieces are um, some way or another, like they go with a lot. But um, you can see that you even go with this. I would not have done that, like knowing that. But yeah, anything kind of neutral, tan, reds, um, even but even like blues and solid colors, peaches, um, it really does go with a lot. So this one I'm gonna do for $40. So those are my samples. Let me know if you would like one. Um, and I will be doing an unboxing video, hopefully. We'll see how uh, things go with the little guy on my lap. <laughs> but thank you for watching and let me know if you are interested in any of these uh, pieces. So take care. See you guys.